Hi guys, Dr. Rajaratna here. So in this short video, we are going to discuss one of the NEET PG 2023 questions. Okay, and it's a very important question. Now why I'm saying it's very important. This is a hot topic. Hot topic means it's repeated exam after exam. I mean, in NEET PG exam, in INICT exam, in FMG exam, okay. So, what is this topic about? As you can see, there is this mention of cherry red spot. So, cherry red spot on fundus is a very important question. So, it can come, you know, with an image or without an image as in this exam. So, there was no image. So, let us see what this question is about. So, there is a child who is brought in with complaints of muscle weakness mental retardation and examination reveals bilateral cherry red spot on fundus no hepatosplenomegaly okay so there is no hepatosplenomegaly most likely diagnosis so to answer this question what exactly do you need to know you need to know the differential diagnosis of cherry red spot yes because if you see the options there are there is something very close you know Tay-Sachs disease, Neiman-Pick disease and Gotcher's. In all these three options, you can get a cherry red spot. And Hurler's disease as well as part of mucopolysaccharidosis, siloidosis, which comes in the mnemonic. So, almost all the four options do have cherry red spot. Okay. So, first we will see what is the differential diagnosis of cherry red spot. Okay. So, what is the mnemonic for this? So, the mnemonic is... So, cherry trees never grow tall in far sandy soil and mud. Okay, so this is the mnemonic. So, what is C? C stands for CRAO that is uh, central retinal artery occlusion. T stands for trauma. What kind of trauma? We are talking about blunt trauma. N, Neiman Pick disease. This G, gangliosidosis. T, Tay Sachs. In, there is nothing. Faber's disease, Sandoff, Sandoff's disease, Siloidosis, which is nothing but your mucopolysaccharidosis and metachromatic leuco dystrophy all right so starting from this never all these if you see these are all storage disorders some form of storage disorders all right so this is the differential diagnosis of cherry red spot so let's look at the question again so one thing i know for sure when i look at this question is it is not central retinal artery occlusion nor blunt trauma why do i say so See, central retinal artery occlusion, the most common cause is hypertension or atherosclerosis, which is usually seen in elderly or even if not in young adults, not in a child. So, this is child. Child may central retinal artery occlusion is extremely rare, so to say. Okay, so it is not cherry. What about trees? Trees stood for trauma. There is no history of blunt trauma that is given to us here. So, trauma is also not an option and it is not given among the four options also. Okay? So, it has to be one of the storage disorders. So, now I will just explain to you some of the storage disorders as, as in let us take a look at Tay-Sachs, Neiman-Pick and Gorchers. Okay? And Gorchers again, it is relatively rare. See, that is why in the G that I have written in the mnemonic, I put gangliosidosis, not Gorchers because Gorchers it is very very rare and that also is seen in the rarer subtype type 2 gotchas. Okay? So, let us take a look and then we will see how to arrive at our answer and how to rule out the other options. Okay? So, make a note in your mind muscle weakness, mental retardation, 
cherry red spot, no hepatosplenomegaly, all right. So, first let us take a look at how the fundus actually looks like when it has a cherry red spot. So, this is the left fundus. Now, why am I saying this is the left fundus? Because my optic disc is located nasally, my nose is here. So, this is the left eye and these are the branches of the central retinal artery, the temporal branches because these are the nasal branches. So, this what I have marked is a temporal branches. So, this area enclosed by the temporal branches is a macula and the center of macula is fovea and this is foveola. So, I am seeing this nice red cherry colored spot bang at the foveola, yes and a surrounding pale retina. So, when I see the surrounding pale retinal edema and the center of it if I have a bright red spot that is cherry red spot. Is that clear? See, I should have a red spot but just a red spot no because normally your fundus appears orangish red in color and in that orangish red in color if you have this red spot usually something else like a macular hole. Okay. Now, you should have a pale retinal edema or so to say milky white. It may not be milky white, but it is definitely not that bright orange red. So, when you see a white frosting, so remember your white forest cake. So, you have a white forest cake with a white frosting and you have a cherry on top of your cake. So, when you get this kind of picture in your third eye, in your mind's eye, that is a cherry red spot. You get it? So, to diagnose an image a fundus picture of cherry red spot, what should you see? What should come to your mind? Your mind a white forest cake with a cherry on top of it or in the center of it that should come to your mind and then is it correlating with that? If that is correlating then it is cherry red spot, alright. So, now you know an image also because sometimes they may give an image or like in this exam where they did not give you the image, okay. So, let us see this Tay-Sachs disease. Now, Tay-Sachs disease is a lysosomal storage disorder where there is muscle weakness, there is a reversal of developmental milestones. So, if the child has achieved certain milestones like for example, the child has now started to sit, started to crawl, but suddenly you know it will stop crawling and will suddenly unlearn the whole thing, will not know how to crawl. So, that is called reversal of developmental milestones, myoclonic jerks dysphagia, difficulty in swallowing, hearing loss and of course vision loss because of this cherry red spot and also mental retardation, yes no question of hepatosplenomegaly here and it is autosomal recessive in inheritance and what is the enzyme that is deficient here? Please learn this also hexosaminidase A deficiency. Now, why do I want to, you to learn this and why am I actually teaching you here? Because sometimes maybe in the future they can give you the same question whatever question we had right now and ask you what is the enzyme that is deficient. So, that means I expect you to diagnose what is the problem in this child and also know the biochemistry part what is the enzyme that is deficient all right okay so this kind of fits in right so option a fits in let's see neiman pick disease now neiman pick disease is also a lysosomal storage disorder ataxia kind of muscle weakness is a lower tone hypotonia but look at this there is hepatosplenomegaly so definitely my Neiman pick is not the answer because in my question there was no hepatosplenomegaly. So, today we also learned Neiman pick disease has hepatosplenomegaly and the, a very characteristically child will have recurrent chest infections. So, recurrent pneumonia. So, maybe it is there in the question. So, when you see something like recurrent pneumonia now do not go and think it is cystic fibrosis you know. So, you should have an open mind think it could be an ophthal condition and thrombocytopenia. So, that, that means it is going to be easy bruising and what is the enzyme deficient here? The enzyme deficient here is fingomyelinase. So, there is going to be a lot of fat accumulation. So, where is the fat also going to accumulate in the histiocytes? So, that gives a very foamy appearance to the histiocytes, okay. So, this is Neiman pick disease. The same way I can give you a clinical question and ask you which of the following statements are true or false. 
you know. So Neiman pick disease, yes, I can have cherry red spot because never grow tall, never was Neiman pick disease. But in my question, there was no hepatosplenomegaly typically written there. So that means Neiman pick is not my answer for this particular question. Okay, so gaucheous. Now gaucheous again, see there is hepatosplenomegaly. Whereas in my question, there was no hepatosplenomegaly explicitly written there. And this is also a lysosomal storage disorder. There is thrombocytopenia. There is bone crisis. So you have a lot of pain, you know, osteonecrosis. And here, what is the enzyme that is def uh, deficient? Glucosyl ceramide. All right. Okay. Now, so what is going to be the answer? The answer is Tay-Sachs disease yes it's not the mucopolysaccharidosis yes so the answer is tay sachs tay sachs tay sachs because again in mucopolysaccharidosis it's very rare to get cherry red spot it can occur it's quite kind of rare and gotchas as i said again it is rare and it is seen only in type 2 gotcha now in this uh, video you have learned how to find out the side of the fundus and how to identify a cherry red spot on a given fundus image. You've learned the differential diagnosis of cherry red spot and all the clinical conditions associated with cherry red spot. Now, there are some things that I haven't told you probably some of the conditions, the differential diagnosis for which the enzymes have not told you. So, it is your responsibility to go down and write. So, you can comment down, down there where you know you write what is the enzyme deficiency and also make a note of it in your small pocket notebook. I always keep telling you about this small pocket notebook where you write down whatever comes to your mind as you know like your gut feeling your antenna comes up and says this might come for, come in the next exam or next means not just the next in the upcoming exams so write that down write it down and keep revising them them again and again these small pocket notebooks maybe you will have some five six notebooks by the time you go for the exam so write it down there and keep revising them again and again so the rest of the mcqs i have discussed on the imenta app under the pyq section all the questions are listed there so it's both part of the test and discussion series and also as the regular course i've uploaded all of them and also in your high yield discussion high yield rapid revision course also it is there okay so thank you guys